caught Judah with a counter punch in the seventh round, after which Judah didn't seem terribly willing in the fight. But, but Mayweather is a much, much better fighter, and he has a particular very good straight right hand, and he's done very effective. But Valdemir excited the crowd by catching Mayweather with a little left hook over by the, uh, the ropes. And now there's blood over the left eye of Valdemir. So already he's bleeding from two places in round number one. Floyd doesn't even seem to have done very much. If he's going to get stopped, it's going to likely be by cut. Well, particularly with the 13-pound weight advantage, if Mayweather were able to put a man on his back who outweighs him 13 pounds, that would be quite a feather in his cap, as if he needs more feathers in his cap. Floyd is taking his time. He's going to be shooting a lot of the straight right hand leads off the bat. He's going to be pushing those off all night. Mayweather's in the red corner, or check it, in the blue corner. Valdemir's in the red corner, and there's too much red in Valdemir's red corner. He's bleeding from above the left eye and the bridge of the nose. This is at the end of the very first round. And as we go there where they speak Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. D don't worry. Don't worry about this. It's nothing. It's, it's a little scratch on the nose. Just a little scratch. It's nothing. Put some Vaseline on that cut. He, he lifts his elbow. You got to hit him in the body when he lifts his elbow. It's hard to... You know what I mean? Interesting that the man in front of Floyd Mayweather in his corner was cutman Rafael Garcia. Leonard Ellerby, who is the head trainer tonight, spoke to Floyd from the side, with Floyd looking out of the corner to talk to Leonard. Maybe Leonard's just more comfortable there or wants Rafael Garcia, the cut man, to get a good look at Floyd's face all the time. The cut work had to be done in Valdemir's corner. In fact, I didn't bother me that Valdemir seemed to be overly concerned about what cuts of facial damages he had. Not the type of, a, you know, attitude of a guy that's supposed to be a tough guy should have. But, you know, at this stage right here, Valdemir is fighting the wrong fight. Well, I think he's starting to come forward. I think he realizes what he's up against, and I think he's, he's starting to, to try to put pressure on. Neither fighter landed in double figures in the first round. It's very bad news for Valdemar, Valdemir that Floyd Mayweather landed only eight punches and produced two cuts on Valdemir's face. Hard right hand by Valdemir lands over the top. Okay. Sneaky right hand lead. Mayweather seemed unprepared. Good right hand. But, you know, he, he, Valdemir's got to get close because Floyd is trying to keep him at that distance where he can time him coming in and particularly hit him with a left hook as he pulls back. And Valdemir's coming in. He's going to pull back and throw that left hook at the same time and try to catch him. Now, Valdemir is going to point out to Jay Nady that Floyd Mayweather holds his left wrist against his neck or against his chin while he steadies himself inside. It's a habit that Floyd has had throughout his career. Not many opponents have complained all that much, but I just had a hunch that Valdemir would. Oh, so quick that, left hook by that's, Mayweather. That's the left hook that he's going to try to use all night if he can. As long as Valdemir fights at that distance where he can keep a good space, he's going to hit him with a lot of those punches as he's coming in. Valdemir made partial contact with the left hook. Hasn't quite been able to catch Floyd yet. But as Larry Merchant pointed out, he's getting a little closer here in round two. Mayweather there with a perfect body shot and then moved back out. Can't be reached at that distance. Valdemir got in a little left hook to the ribcage. Good left hook upstairs by Mayweather. Crowd ooing and eyeing at the big missed right hand. There's a lot of wish here, that, or so it seems, that Valdemir can compete with Floyd, but then there's a lot of awe at how well Floyd does when he does his thing. Good, quick left hook by Mayweather. Valdemir aware that he's getting tattooed, trying to make it rougher. But you know, Floyd have not been able to land the clean, effective blows that he wants to with on Valdemir still at this stage. But took this little right hand lead that he likes to throw real straight and fast. You know, Valdemir has been a little problem for him too. Judging from the crowd's reaction, they like the idea of the bull and the bull fighter. 
once again as Floyd Mayweather goes back to his corner. He's fighting without his regular trainer, Uncle Roger Mayweather, who is serving a six-month sentence for battery in the Clark County Detention Center. And so other voices in Mayweather's corner tonight, and he says he's back. Come on, comfortable give me the with that. The man you see in the center, of, in front of him, is Rafael uh, Garcia, who he, he credits with wrapping his hands properly. Okay. Use a little more faint. Debate him in, because he's looking to load up with the right hand. Don't worry about that. Don't when you shoot the right hand, you can just roll and rip right back with the uppercut. Okay. He just trying to get in a slugging match early. We're going to box him, box him, box our circles He's around. Open up better for him. Okay. Keep, keep touching him to the body. Okay. He can't take that shit downstairs. Good round, though. Combia box numbers in round two. Mayweather, 14 out of 20 power shots. Carlos Valdemir. Wishful thinking said to us yesterday, I think this will be an easier fight than the Judah fight. Judah's faster and has more power. Well, it's not going to be an easier fight than the Judah fight. And I think Valdemir probably already knows that. Mayweather, in the early going by copy box count, landing nearly 50% of his punches and parceling them out on a measured basis. Floyd actually seems to generally take a few rounds, Emmanuel, to start setting up that pinpoint straight right hand, which yeah. is his primary yeah. offensive yeah. weapon. He's, he's, getting, he's getting his range now. He's starting to feel Stop. better comfortable with his pet punches, particularly the right hand and the left hook. When he shoots his power left hook, he actually leaps out from his toes, which gives him a lot of power when he shoots his left hook. Once he starts to dial in the straight right hand and target the opponent, he'll throw that punch over and over and over. Sometimes four, five, six in a punch. Aldemir, with a winging big shot, almost caught the back of Mayweather's head. Mayweather jumps in with a straight right hand lead. There's the straight right hand, and now he begins to unleash that weapon. So quick. It's not a textbook fight. Somebody's going to land something soon that slows the pace down to a a more normal fight. Good right hand by Mayweather. Valdemir walking into a right hand shot. Body shot by Valdemir. be called a great boxer. He's not nearly as jab-oriented as a lot of great boxers are. You're right, and he's not really a boxer. He has cat-like reflexes, few little pet moves that he does very effectively, but he really doesn't box, per se, like jabbing to the head, jabbing to the body. His favorite is a little sneaky right-hand lead and the left hook, which he leaps at you with. And, and he just landed that sneaky right-hand lead again, flush on Valdemir's chin. And gets in another counter right hand as Valdemir tries Stop. to land the left hook. Stop. The difference in speed is big just as it was between Mayweather and Gatt. It's, it, but it's not just speed, as Mayweather himself often points out. It is a tremendous skill level that he has. Very good defensive fighter, and he's quick enough to come from the defense to the offense to take advantage of it. Aldemir now decides to begin selling out to Mayweather's body, busting him both the ribs and on the arms. Probably the best idea. I heard a bunch of white girls that water. You can use your jab just a, just a little bit more. Okay, hit yeah, bit. yeah, I know. Okay, listen. Okay, okay. Now we're going to start giving, giving him some feints and just walking on him. Hot okay. shot him and just walk on him. Okay. Right. Because the thing is, he's slow as hell on his feet. And we want him to move his feet. But he's awkward. Like, I know. He's he awkward. But like I said, we want him I to move. I feel good, though. We, we want him to move his feet. We're winning, Carlos. That hand that you hit him and hit, hurt him in the body. Yeah. Hit, hit him in the top. Three rounds in to a scheduled 12-round bout. Number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, Floyd Mayweather. 
in cream colored trunks with pink trim. And you saw the copy box numbers, which showed Mayweather landing nearly 50% of his punches, while Baldemir lands 12% of his power punches. Baldemir's corner said, you're winning, Carlos. Harold, what's the truth? <laughs> no way. <laughs> 30 to 27. Three rounds to nothing, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Jim, I gotta tell you, I love that leaping left hook. Ain't seen nothing like that since, since the late Floyd Patterson. I mean, he does it perfectly, too. He's landed left hook stepping back, left hook's moving back, right hand's moving back. Floyd Mayweather landed all the clean shots. Carlos Baldemir won for an elbow and a, or a forearm shiver in round three, but three to nothing, Mayweather. Baldemir swinging at Mayweather's head and finding nothing as has been the case through most of the first three rounds. Again, I believe the way to do this would be to focus on the body for quite some time. The difference is Mayweather's a lot different than Gaddy.